Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chessy102 channel. And I wanted to start this video once again with a big, big thank you. And this time it goes to Mr. Sensible because he gave me the opportunity that yesterday to go on his live stream and introduce myself to a whole new audience. And each and every one of you were so supportive and nice and subscribed to my channel. And therefore also to you, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you all. And on that note, I thought we could watch a video together. I found a channel called Multi Tom Tom. I will just call him Tom in this video. And he tried to debunk mainstream science and therefore the sun. Because apparently everything we know of the sun is not true, of course. So on that note, let's just jump right in. This website is called Cool Cosmos and it's from Caltech. Like most of mainstream science, there's so much wrong with this article. Almost every sentence in this paragraph is wrong. So let's quickly go through the article. The sun is a star. Wrong. Um, what? I mean, I guess that that's new. Tell me more. Our sun is unique. Nothing else has the same properties as our sun. Stars, on the other hand, are really tiny compared to the sun. Stars have electromagnetic charges going through them. They are being charged and this charge produces starlight. You can see this effect when you zoom in on a star. All stars are have different colors, shapes and sizes. I mean, I just assume you mean something like this? And if you zoom in with, a, for example, Nikon P900 on a star and you get something like this, that just means that your camera is not designed to display astronomy photographs. It's just that easy. Why can't any flat earther go out and buy a half decent telescope and compare the images you can get with the telescope with the images of a P900? And you could see that the images you get with a telescope would be much closer to the ones you can see at NASA. And no, you probably can't afford any telescope which you can get a result like the ones NASA gets. Because their telescopes are huge and in space. And they have millions and billions of dollars to afford these, to, to build these. So no, you wouldn't get any results like NASA's. But you don't have to, to know that you're full of shit. It is a huge spinning glowing sphere of hot gas. Wrong. The sun is not as big as they claim it is, because the sun is in our atmosphere. It is close and local. The sun is actually a spinning glowing sphere of plasma. Oh. Okay, so the sun is not a huge spinning glowing sphere of hot gas, but it is a tiny spinning glowing sphere of plasma you know plasma is hot gas <laughs> oh my god you have literally no idea what you're talking about so in sun's core there is a temperature of i think 15 million degrees centigrade which is pretty hot and at this temperature gases get kind of unstable because of the huge amount of energy hydrogen atoms can't keep their electrons so the positive charged atoms and the negative charged electrons separate from each other and that is the fourth state of matter plasma so besides the size you do agree with them 
without even knowing it. How could you claim that the sun is a huge ball of plasma without knowing what it means? You agree with them. The sun is the center of our solar system and contains most of the mass in the solar system. Wrong. There is no solar system. The heliocentric model is just a model. It's like the theory of relativity is just a theory. Bullshit! The rest of his statement is basically the same as every flat earther says, like the earth is in a closed system, everything is within the firmament and all of this crap, but oh, I, I just, I genuinely cannot believe that there are people genuinely believing in this. I mean, science is the basis of modern humanity. And it just baffles me that there are still people using the technology that came out of the science to deny science. It's just it's it's just beyond me that they're they have to feel so important that they just make up stuff to say, ha, I know something you don't know. And so they disrespect all of what science has invented in the last just few hundred years. It's just... All of the planets in our solar system, including Earth, orbit around the sun. Wrong. As mentioned in a, about a minute ago, the, there is no solar system. Planets are not planets. They are wandering stars, meaning they do not have a regular orbit. The sun travels around the Earth, not the other way around. Oh my god. There is so much wrong in this little bit. I mean, planets are wandering stars without a regular orbit. What? Go and buy the telescope and go out and watch some planets. You can see without even knowing much about astronomy that their orbit is regular because they come again and again and again as predicted by the heliocentric model of the solar system. Okay, if you really think you have a point besides Oh, they're all wrong and I'm right. Then let me ask you this question. The question that every debunker ever has asked every flat earther ever. Where is your model that can explain phenomena like sunrise and sunset, seasons, solar and lunar eclipses, the Coriolis effect? Where's the model? The one model that can explain all of them. A model that can predict into the future. Just that. Then we can talk. Then you could actually have a point. Until then, why are you making videos without having a point? The sun itself is not hot. Now I will explain how the sun generates heat. The sun produces electromagnetic radiation. The sun rays are in fact this radiation. On Earth, we have a thinner atmosphere plane at height, at elevation, containing less denser gases such as the noble gases. At ground level, we have much denser gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc, etc, etc. So the sun charges the ions in these dense gases and the electrical charge from the sun generates heat. This is the major reason that the temperature is much colder at height. Okay, you said the sun was a spinning, glowing sphere of plasma. But it's not hot. What? That doesn't make any sense. Plasma is hot gas. If it's not hot, it's just gas. How can something glow without being hot. How? It's just mind-blowing that he cannot see that he's just contradicting himself. 
so many times. I mean, I cut out certain parts of the video because some of those was just basically every flat earther ever, so that's just not interesting at this point. But that is just so dumb. That just doesn't make any sense. The charge of the sun. First of all, how? What charge? How does the sun generate this charge? And what? You just claimed something with no actual substance to it. I mean, it is creative, don't get me wrong. Your creativity is just amazing. <laughs> but it's more fiction than anything else. According to our friend Wikipedia, the current official highest registered air temperature on Earth is 56.7 degrees centigrade. So the highest temperature the sun can generate is around 60 degrees centigrade. So once again, I repeat, the sun is not hot. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. The sun, a spinning ball of plasma, of cold plasma, is not hot. And the highest temperature sun could have is 60 degrees centigrade. Yeah. I ventured to doubt it, but okay. I mean, this is... <sighs> This is beyond me, of course, and it's so beyond any scientific matter of fact, but it is, it is new, it is a fun video, so thank you, Tom, but you just claimed crap. You don't have anything to back up anything. All you have is, you're wrong, I'm right, blah. You don't have a model. You don't have any predictions or calculations or equations, nothing. You just have a really, really bad video. I mean, it's fun, but I just assume you didn't mean it in that funny way everyone else is taking it. So, yeah. I'm sorry my phone decided again that I probably don't need a video to make a video. Huh. So if the angle is a little bit different now, that's why. And let me know down in the comments, what did you think about this video, the whole the sun is actually cold plasma thing, and leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!